Hi, I'm Dr. Danny, and welcome to Dr. Danny TV. Today, I'm going to be answering what is probably my top women's health questions from my patients and my clients. And I must get asked this question at least 10 times per week, which is why I'm answering it on here. And the question is, can stress, just normal low-grade stress, put my period off schedule, make me have more PMS, or have more heavy or painful periods, even if I'm on the birth control pill? And the answer is yes. Most people actually suffer from chronic low-grade stress and they suffer in silence for a few reasons. Number one, their brain gets used to running in fight or flight overdrive all the time. So they don't even notice or even believe that they're stressed. This is a biggie. And the second reason is because they can't see a way out of their stress and overwhelm without living in a cave and escaping their lives. And no one really wants to do that, or most people don't anyways. You just want to be able to cope with your current life better, to be a better version of yourself in your current life. So that's why we're stressed out and we don't pay attention to it. And there's a few key reasons why this chronic low-grade stress affects your period, even if you're on the birth control pill. The pill has hormones that prevent you from ovulating or releasing an egg midway through your cycle. And then when you take your sugar pills, your period comes back due to the hormone withdrawal. And it mimics the natural cycle and it prevents pregnancy. But your body is still making its own hormones too, even when you're on the pill. And of course, when you're not. Estrogen and progesterone are those two main hormones that have to do with your period and your cycle. And this one called progesterone is the one of the key hormones that regulates the menstrual cycle. It gets made in three different places, in your ovaries, in something called your corpus luteum during the second half of your menstrual cycle, and in your adrenal glands. So guess what though? It gets made from the same building blocks, i.e. the same precursors, as scientists call them, as your stress hormones, your adrenal hormones. So what happens to many people when they're under this chronic stress that you don't even notice is that your body gets confused and it thinks that making stress hormone is more important than making babies and making sure your period comes on time. So it thinks, your brain thinks, that you are constantly trying to escape a saber-toothed tiger. So what it does is it steals the building blocks or the precursor hormones to make more stress hormones in your adrenals and there isn't that much left over to make progesterone to make your periods work well. And your brain and your body thinks it's doing you a favor because it thinks your life is in danger. This is because we haven't evolved yet to know the difference between acute danger from a tiger and these mental threats and that cause the chronic low-grade daily threats that make up modern life. So a lack of this progesterone messes with your menstrual cycle. And combined with too much estrogen, which is the other main hormone involved, which we make in too much excess in fat cells around our tummy area, again related to stress. So low progesterone combined with high estrogen is a huge issue for women's health and it leads to a host of hormonal issues and imbalances, even difficulty getting pregnant as well as nightmare periods. So Many naturopaths will recommend adding progesterone cream or pills and you know, in every case is different of course, but the core issue here is actually dealing with the underlying brain and body hormone levels of low grade chronic stress and mental threats. Low grade stresses is actually what's at the root of this problem and it takes time and it isn't a quick fix to work on this, but it's the number one important thing you have to tackle if you have bad periods or irregular cycles. So do you find that stress affects your periods? Leave me a comment below and let me know.